Hello. This is going to be a flip through video for the Norse Oracle cards by a small Etsy shop called Wildstad Creations. Um, something I'd like to address before we uh, get into the cards is that this box is not the box that you're going to get if you um, order from them. This is something I made myself. Um, it's probably really obvious. Um, but here's the front panel of the original box and also the back panel from the original box. I also blackened the edges of my, uh, of my personal deck. They don't come like this, they come white. This is a 30 card oracle deck and let's go ahead and get into it and then I'll come back and uh, tell you more things about some things. Okay, so that's the last card. Um, for a size comparison, if you are familiar with the Modern Witch Tarot deck, these cards are about the same size. I know this is on a light background, but um, the main difference is these corners are more blunted and these corners are more sharp. Other than that, they're basically the same size. 
these cards fit in the, the box that I made. Uh, the stock itself is thinner than the Modern Witch. Go, go away, go away. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I have um, weak, small baby hands, and um, the Modern Witch is a bit cumbersome for me to uh, manipulate. There's also a lot more cards. These cards, um, they have good flexibility, and they're even though they're thinner, they don't feel like bad stock. Um, there is a plastic film on the faces, and it doesn't make the cards really stick to each other or just slip all around. The edges, when I they were brand new, were kind of uh, rough and grabby and textured, but after a week or two of use, they really smoothed out. Um, there's still something there, but uh, it doesn't catch on anything. It makes for an easily grabbable card. And yeah, so these just handle really easily. Um, let me grab my booklet. It was bigger. Um, I had to cut it down repeatedly instead of actually measuring what I needed. But here are the, the meanings. The font, I don't know if you can see, the font in the booklet versus on the cards, it's very similar, but it's easier to read in the actual booklet. The meanings themselves are short and to the point, and you don't have to have a Norse, a Norse mythology background um, in order to use the deck or um, understand the deck. There's not a whole lot that you really need in order to read with this deck. Because of the color and the uh, to the point meanings, it's really easy to pair with other tarot decks and oracle decks or even on its own. I don't love it on its own, but you know, cards are all about what you personally connect with. If there are any questions, let me know. That's it as far as I know. Thanks, bye.